Welcome to a cup of coffee and Francis Bacon catalog Uh Well, it's more like welcome to a cup of coffee. Welcome to a cup of tea because it's Francis Bacon, so I thought tea would be more appropriate. In my lovely tubug installed uh, uh, mug. This is the most extreme uh, investment I've ever made. In, uh, in art, yeah. This insane box right behind me here. I picked it up from DHL uh, shipping yesterday and I was absolutely shocked when I saw the size of this box. So, let's just get started because uh, I've been wanting to open this since yesterday. Yeah, but it's like you're planning an, an orgy or a gangbang and you're a little bit nervous but then you have to warm up a little bit before you dare to enter so again one of my most extreme investments ever because this book is uh, only a thousand 1,000 are made in the entire world. So I'm pretty, it's, I think it's insane that it's still available. I tried to order it from my local bookstore, the little book in in Hugsen, but it was impossible for them to get it. I tried to order it from different uh, websites, all of them sold out, even though it said they had it available and I even paid one of them to get it. But, holy shit. People, oh my god, holy shit. <laughs> I thought this box was like just how it looked, like uh, to, to make it make sure it's safe. <laughs> like, people, look at this. Oh my god, ah, it's a problem filming this even. Uh, here it is, the box, in a box, the Francis Bacon catalog. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know how to say it, so I'm sorry if, it, it's, if I missed on it. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Jesus. Well, one giant box out of the way. Holy shit. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh, shit. I don't know where it starts. What's up and down? I think this is up. So I can just show it like this first. It says here the estate of Francis Bacon, Henny Publishing, Francis Bacon, Catalog Rasanoa. Uh, quantity one copy, <laughs> price one thousand or uh, fifteen hundred dollars. Weight seventeen point five kilos, people. <sighs> Jesus. Break here with this. Okay. Wow. Oh shit. And I'm gonna afterwards when this movie is done and filmed, uh, I am gonna take one book, not all of them, and just slowly read them. Where do I open it? I don't know what's back and forth here we go I this holy look at okay respect to Henny publishing look at how how it's wrapped here is the book and they have foam all around it's like nothing to harm the book, the box, an idiot like me, I will have this box. It even has like details here, like warning: total weight of catalog, 15 kilos. Please remove with care. So this box alone inside with the books is 15 kilos. How do I take it out though? Oh, shit. 
<laughs> so we have box number two going away. Just wait until you see my corner over here, how ridiculous it looks. So I'm gonna try and do it. Oh, proper. Uh, sorry about that. So here is the book. Taking off the hat, this one. Really well packed. Thank you, Henny Publishing. Feel safe if I'm never gonna order some super expensive art books in the future. And then we take off this. And it even has like a sticker that says Francis Bacon on the side here. A little bit annoying though because I want to keep all the details. And then it also has oh, a little bit sad though. This one's a little bit damaged. Because I'm gonna keep these as well. And it says here, just to torture you all, it says Edited by Martin Harrison F FSA, published by the estate of Francis Bacon. Okay, uh, Francis Bacon, Catalog Resonant is a landmark publishing event that presents the entire over of Bacon's paintings for the first time and includes many previously unpublished works. The impeccably produced five volume slipcase publication containing each of Bacon's 584 paintings has been edited by Martin Harrison, FSA, the preeminent expert on Bacon's work, alongside research assistant Dr. Rebecca Daniels. An ambitious and painstaking project that has been 10 years in the making. 10 years, people. This sem seminal visual document eclipses in scope any previous publications on the artist and will have a profound effect on the perception of his work. And specification, it's 1,538 pages in total, 800 color illustrations. And then volume one is introduction, science, chron chronology, and user's guide. Volume two is catalog resume of the paintings from 1929 to 57. Volume three, catalog resume of the paintings from 1958 to 71. Volume four, catalog resume of the paintings 1971 to 92. And then this one is the one that's really exciting. Volume 5, Bacon's Sketches, Bibli Bibliography, Index and Acknowledgements. So I'm going to save, oh, we even have a here. So somebody at the Francis Bacon Estate or Henny Publishing, I have you here. Only annoying thing is though, I want to have this. So it's really, I'm trying to make sure I don't fuck this up. There it fucking is. Finally. Wow. Okay. See if I can save this out without fucking everything up. It's impossible though. That's a little bit annoying. I'm gonna lift this without. <laughs> this is not easy. If I I'm, I'm not gonna have it in this paper, so. Wow. My, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> my apartment looks like hoarder's heaven. There it is, people. The beautiful Francis Bacon catalog, Russell Horror unopened and mine all like the slipcase is all black Maybe I should just put you down there is a danger that you might just disappear now because I haven't <sighs> so there you go this is the box there you have all the volumes it's like embedded in the box, the writing, can you see it? Like this? Yes. Even has a little. Oh, that was me. Oh. We're gonna start with number one then. Wow. 
This is pretty intense. can't believe that I actually have this in my collection. It starts like this. About Francis Bacon. Notes and stuff. A lot of writing of his paintings. Fucking amazing. Amazing shit. I read his, uh, his latest biography that uh, was published not so long ago. After that I just got a possessed and then I read about this book being released and I just just had to have it and here it says about his techniques and stuff it's almost a little bit too much to take in oh this is cool notice inside they have like compartments for the books so when you take one out it doesn't fuck up the system, so this is very uh, good of you, the people at uh, Haney Publishing. Haney, yeah. And then this is the first collection of his paintings. From 1921 to 57. Wow, they're beautifully reproduced, okay. I might risk fucking up this video now by doing this, but fuck it. I want you people to see how this looks. This was not planned because when I do this on, on Instagram, I can just flip the camera, but I can't do it now. These are beautifully reproduced and this is watercolor. Watercolor paintings early and here is the, and it, this is gouache. So it says the technique, the size, if it's signed and dated, and then it says something about the painting. And it's like that. This is the main reason why I wanted this. It has all the facts about the paintings, and then the painting, where it's been exhibited, group exhibitions, solo ex exhibitions, and then a little bit about the painting. So this is fucking amazing. Holy shit, this is gonna be such, and there's one of the famous popes. And basically the entire books are like that though, like the paintings and information about the books, uh, no, about the paintings, I mean. So this is probably my most precious, even spinning on the books, but the whole packaging and how it's presented really professional and uh, beautiful so I'm not gonna this is like it's me and 999 other humans on the planet of earth have this box and Francis Bacon is a huge well-known painter so it's pretty crazy that it was still available from the publisher if you want to invest in this uh, if you like Francis Bacon or art in general Get this box. I'm not even sponsored. I paid for this for my own money, but get this fucking thing. Even if. But don't get it if you're not a fan of Francis Bacon. Fuck you, people who buy stuff and sell it a lot more expensive. Let us, uh, fans of Francis Bacon, the artist and the human, have this in our collection because we value it. Wow. This is insane. I don't have words for it. I'm just gonna enjoy this massively. I'm gonna make myself a new cup of tea because this one is way too cold now. I like it flaming hot. And uh, yeah, I'm actually a little bit, and it's heavy as fuck as well. It's 15 kilos, so there's no cheap paper in this, baby. And yeah. If you have any questions, just write in the comments below, or write to me on Instagram, at Martin Manzoni. I'm gonna try, I never do it though, but I will try and post some photos of this on my Instagram. At least I have a post about this box. Uh, probably gonna do it after this weekend, because this weekend I'm just gonna be enjoying this. Uh, and join my live stream. If you're watching this on Friday, when this video comes out, then join my live stream on Instagram at 1300 
uh, where I do live painting. It's going to be in Ken the Chilling Volume 5. Uh, title of the comic is Sex. And if you pre order it at cafefancine.com, I will put the link below directly to the pre order. Then you get a free Coffin Comics uh, um, bonus comic if you order before Halloween. Uh, it's my most uh, uh, complex comic that I've uh, published. Uh, can cannot be uh, compared to this, but it's uh, it's my most uh, ambitious release of uh, like a concept. It's a trilogy: sex, Satan, cell mode, suicide. That is. Anyway, go to caffeinescene.com, link below, and pre-order. Um, Ken the Chilling Volume 5 Sex and you will get a free Coffin Comics bonus. I will also link uh, I will put the link below to this amazing box from the publisher. Uh, I recommend it highly if you love Francis Bacon or art to get this because then you and me are one of 1000 in the world that has this amazing box. It's a little bit pricey, but it's worth every fucking penny because this is this was really good. Paper is top notch. The photos are really good quality, and it's just really well done. You saw all the packaging, how professional it was. Um, every Friday, a new video here on Instagram, no, uh, on my YouTube channel, and live stream every Friday. And next, uh, next. Uh, video next Friday on this YouTube channel I'm gonna film the most insane unboxing video that I have ever done the most insane one I did was when I got a big birthday package from Jay my homie in the USFA but this one it's all on me I had a night where I shouldn't have had access to the internet and I sold one of my own paintings because if you I do paintings and comics for those of you who don't know. So if you want to buy a painting from me, just contact me at mansoniabrand at gmail.com or on Instagram or here. But do mail or Instagram because then I can see the, the mail quicker. But I sold a pretty big painting to a customer and I thought to myself, I'm going to allow myself one book. That resulted in what I'm about to show you. And that's going to be in the next uh, week's episode of A Cup of Coffee. This is fucking disgusting though. And I'm not trying to flaunt like, oh, look at how much money I have because I don't. I can't have food for a month because of this. Are you ready? This is pretty fucking insane. And thanks for watching, by the way. And uh, I will post some photos of this beautiful box uh, next week sometime. So just follow me on Instagram to see that. Because next week's episode is going to be, I don't know the title yet, but maybe something like, uh, a cup of coffee and a suitcase filled with books. That is correct, people. Look at this. It's fucking insane. Let's see if I can put some light on it. I'm just gonna see if I... Look at this. I have to move. My apartment is becoming a library. This... This is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever done. I went to the post office because I got like a bunch of uh, post things to pick up your order thing. And I have this. It's a fucking suitcase, people. Filled to the bottom. This is just books, art books and comic books. So this is gonna be the next video. I might pick some of them out and do a single unboxing video for my Instagram. But I've already ordered some other books that I'm going to do that with. So I'm going to try and do an unboxing video where I open all of these. And I'm not going to stop and talk about the book for like 10 minutes per book. But as you can see, uh, we have some books to go through. Uh, I think it's 65. <laughs> oh, but I don't have kids. Um, so this is alimony for like a couple of months. But these are my babies till I die. Good investment. And I can write it off on my firm because I'm an artist. So this is going to be 
the next week's uh, episode. A cup of coffee and a shitload of books. Okay, people, time to uh, time to go to bed. Uh, thanks for watching. And when I do this video, as I said, I'm just gonna go crazy. Open, show it, blah blah blah. Next, show it, blah blah blah. Next. I have no idea how long it's gonna take, but that's gonna be interesting. Whew. I fucking love books. If you haven't noticed, like my bookshelf, the best thing in the world: books and records and good coffee. Thanks for watching. Um, have a nice weekend, and I will see you guys next Friday or on Instagram at thirteen hundred today. Goodbye.